The big breaking news coming in right now is that the BJP has suspended a party spokesperson, Nupur Sharma and Naveen Jindal, who is in charge of BJP media from the party's primary membership. This after a massive backlash over Nupur Sharma's comments uh, that were made on a news channel where she insulted Prophet Muhammad and Naveen Jindal to tweeted about this and this led to a massive backlash in uh, several Gulf countries. In fact, there was a trend against India and also calls for boycotting of Indian products there. Uh, earlier on today, the BJP tried to distance itself from a party spokesperson Nupur Sharma's statement after uh, they released a press release in which they uh, spoke about how the BJP respects all religions. The party said it strongly denounces insult of any religious personality. It is against any ideology which insults or demeans any sect or religion and that the BJP does not promote such people or their philosophies. Now this statement earlier came amid this massive backlash from Gulf countries over the BJP spokesperson statement and now uh, the news coming in that the BJP has suspended Nupur Sharma as well as Naveen Jindal who had also tweeted the same uh, remarks that Nupur Sharma had made. He had tweeted the same, uh, creating a huge amount of uh, outrage across uh, the country and in other countries as well. Uh, and um, let's go across to Akshay uh, for more on this story. So Akshay, that is the latest development now. Nupur Sharma and Naveen Jindal being uh, not just you know removed from their positions, but actually suspended from the party's primary membership this after the massive backlash that has been building since last night in many Gulf countries over the statements that they made. Well, absolutely. It has caused uh, not just not just the Bharti Janta Party, but the entire country a massive embarrassment as far as our allies are concerned in, in the, in the uh, West Asian part of the part of the world. Now, when we talk about uh, the statements that uh, were made by both of these uh, uh, former members of Bharatiya Janata Party, now uh, it, it was absolutely horrendous the way uh, the certain certain things were being said on national television, or uh, a tweet was made by uh, Naveen Jindal, uh, who who are uh, who were, who had responsible uh, responsibilities from the party, and they were official uh, spokespersons. So anything that they were saying was considered word from the Bharatiya Janata Party. And that exactly is the reason that uh, the 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 Bharatiya Janata Party had to send out a strong message as far as uh, these statements are concerned that have been made against a particular religion. So uh, that that probably is one of the biggest reasons the way uh, this entire uh, there is there, the way there has been calls in the in the Gulf countries that Indian imports should be top uh, people who are employing the Indians they should reconsider their decision. So after all of this, after this huge embarrassment worldwide. Uh, it seems that Bharatiya Janata Party has finally woken into action and now taken uh, action against their own spokesperson. Uh, but also there will be a question that why did the party take so much of time to uh, take action when uh, all the statements that were being made were being made on public platform? Is it only because of the uh, lash, uh, you know, uh, the uh, larger that we are seeing from the uh, West Asian countries uh, or was the party going to take action anyway against these two Right, people? because absolutely, Akshay, because, you know, we've been seeing a growing, you know, uh, anger over it. Uh, in fact, the reason for this violence that broke out in Kanpur and, and you know, those clashes was over the comments made by Nupur Sharma. However, it did seem that, you know, the BJP, as we've often seen, was just going to uh, carry on regardless and, 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 you know, not do anything about it or take any kind of action. In fact, we've seen that many BJP supporters and other members actually supporting Nupur Sharma's statements and uh, on social media, etc. But since yesterday, it took a very different sort of a turn with, the, you know, this outrage and uh, the, the, the social media uh, comments that were coming in from various countries from Kuwait, Oman, from uh, Dubai, as well as Saudi Arabia. So a lot of anger, as you know, it became known what the, B and an official BJP spokesperson making those kind of comments on a, uh, on a news channel. And that is something that finally, it seems, has led to this sort of action uh, by the BJP. By uh, Let's go across to uh, uh, Sanket also joining us on the phone line for more. And Sanket, when we spoke to you earlier, there was just, uh, you know, that press release by the BJP, which, which talked about respecting all religions and not saying anything uh, derogatory about any religious figure, but didn't really talk about Nupur Sharma or, you know, this entire uh, issue that has created such a backlash. But now the news coming in uh, that both Nupur Sharma Sharma as well as Naveen Kumar Jindal, uh, who also made similar comments on Twitter. They both have been suspended from the party's primary membership. 
Exactly. And this is a big decision that the BJP has been forced to take uh, because of a serious backlash, not just at a national, but at an international level, where many uh, uh, Saudi Arabian nations have, uh, or Gulf countries have taken exception to the manner in which this was said. Now, if you recall, and as we were discussing, uh, it was not just uh, uh, Ms. Nupur Sharma, but various other leaders also of the Bharatiya Janata Party and those who support the BJP, uh, who seconded and promoted the same view. Uh, it seems that as, a, as an effort in damage control, the Bharatiya Janata Party first condemned any such statement, clarified its position, and now has taken action against these two spokespersons. Uh, in, in uh, Delhi, BJP's context, which is uh, a state-level leadership of the BJP, these two people are spokespersons, Nupur Sharma, as well as Mr. Naveen Jindal. Naveen Jindal was also a former journalist. Uh, he, uh, Both of them had, in fact, uh, Nupur had spoken about it on a private station, and then this was backed in the form of a tweet by uh, Mr. Jindal. 